I want to check out this first before we jump on to the transit car. Oh, hello there, Cthulhu buddy. How's it going? How How's it going, Dr. Zoidberg? Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Hooray! Now Zoidberg can be dead too! I can't do a Zoidberg voice, so... Uh, it doesn't matter. Did we even have to take that rail? Maybe... Maybe not. Um... I'm gonna say no. Uh... I see you. I see you, another Zoidberg. Must be his uncle. Or something. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we didn't actually have to take that, but I'm gonna go back and get it anyway, so... Why not? Wah, Buffett. <laughs> oh, I've been doing that so often. I blame... I blame... Mr. Harry. Mr. Dr. Professor Harry. Mr. Dr. Professor Rock Paper Mario for it. <laughs> keep thinking there's something up there because of the light. But, nope. Not at all. Whoa. Whoa. Well, at least this is attached, so I don't think we're in danger if we go across or anything. I don't think we're in danger oh, except our face. So let's, let's, let's crouch down a little. We might slow down a little too. Now let's go full speed. Full speed ahead! Ow. Holy crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Wait, did we gain health? I think we gained health. Because we were at 45 before I got on that. <laughs> uh, so I think you can actually take that walkway across. Uh, yeah. But then, the fun way to do it is that way. I remember now. And then you can just make it a little... Hop, skip, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Just move your little rump. You can make it if you try with a hop, skip, and a jump. And now, of course, let's go... Boo. Boo. I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess that's why they put the ledge there. Uh, no, what we want to do is we want to come over here and drop in for a chat with... I guess the radioactive waste that we just waded through. Nah, it's gonna bring us... Well, it's gonna bring us to a loading screen. Ha 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 ha. It's gonna bring us over here to more radiation. ooh wee -oo. Radiation. Even though I know it's killer tofu, but whatever. oh hey oh Radiation. <laughs> I eat my sugar cereal, but my it makes my teeth radioactive real. <laughs> uh, I'll stop now. Save it for a time when uh, Killer Tofu is actually applicable. Because that is a great song. Come on. Doug Funny and the Beats. Come on. Be best. Best. Ooh, that's just radiation right there, jeez. Uh, best Beatles knockoff, Beatles parody ever. <laughs> but then again, how many Beatles parodies are there? Oh, come on, come on, no. I, I, can I kill you? No, I can't kill you with the radiation? Come on! It's not like you're bathing in this stuff right now. Well, you are, but that shouldn't matter. Come on, video game logic. I should be able to kill you no matter what. I don't know how to get over there at all. So, I'm not gonna go over there. Oh wait. Never mind, I see how you go over there. You go from that pipe onto that and go around. Well, I should have probably stayed and gone down because that health might be useful right now because I'm at 72. Yeah, whatever. Couldn't be that important. Quick save! Ooh. Ah, come on! I just got out here, jeez! Come on, I can't even take in the sights. What? Sh 
Shotgun blast to the face didn't work. Take another to the face. Ooh, this is big. This is cool. I wonder, could this be the rocket silo they were talking about? Okay, um, quick note. Try as hard as you can not to destroy those. It's really tempting because you see all the enemies over there, but it makes your life a hell of a lot easier if you just leave them be. Just, just take your time, shoot these guys up. All right, one sec, quick save. I'll show you guys why. That's why. <laughs> and you don't want to be jumping that gap the entire time you're over here, so... Let's just reload. There we go. See, nice, nice and easy. And I can't... Oh, come on. Well, you killed yourself. Are you happy? Oh. I don't even with these guys. Just knocking themselves to death left and right. Same with that one. Try not to destroy those. Just makes things so much easier. Silo D access. I wondered, what, could this be the rocket chamber they were talking about? <laughs> oh god. Jeez. Oh my god, what's that noise? What's that noise? Fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damned thing before it grows any larger. Stop! Oh my god, what are you talking about? What damn thing? What what did that what did this to you? Get rid of that. What what happened? Oh my god. <laughs> so No, no, no! Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> anyway, worm your way through tunnels. That's what the joke is that I was telling you guys about a little while ago. Uh, now you're gonna see that there's three things here. By the way, uh, if you run, this guy is gonna hear you. Not out here, you gotta be in there. But he'll hear you and he'll start smacking around at you. So what you wanna do is walk, or even better, crouch walk. Actually, just walk, because crouch walking's hard, because you need to hit two buttons. Uh, but anyway, you'll see three things that are not lit up. Oxygen, fuel, and power. Because if we hit test fire right now... We can't hit it. <laughs> so we need to get those three things back before we can fire the rocket and take out this monstrosity. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, just because it's, I think, really original. Oh, good. We latched onto the ladder. I thought we were going to die or something. Be quiet. This thing hears us. Exactly. Like you said pretty quietly so I don't know if you guys heard it but be quiet if this thing hears us yeah, we might stand a better chance if we came up. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you with me whoa oh, that target range time is gonna pay off today a lot of guards in here hey! no no guard why would you do that that's you're so stupid anyway they'll just do this if they hit you or hear you so just make sure you walk I'm actually gonna quick save again because it's kind of dumb not to. Whoa! Careful there. Okay, be a little quick. Oh god. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh, you know who that probably was? That was probably the security guard that was following me. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go by. Don't touch me. No, come on. Can't I drag the box? No, I want to drag the box. Uh. No, I can't push the box either. I don't want to. Oh god. How did you not hit me yet? <gasps> Oh my god. Somehow they missed me. Oh, that has never happened before. That is pretty fantastic. Okay, so that didn't make any noise, I guess. Um, that's cool. 
<laughs> I'm not completely terrified right now. Oh, looks like they got the security guard. Um, I'm going to use this time to try and break through this wall, because I believe this actually does cause noise. So run! <laughs> oh, I guess it didn't. Oh, yes it did. <laughs> I think this is scarier than anything else in the game, but it's also my favorite part, so... <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I, I am genuinely getting a bit anxious at this point. Oh my god. Stay away from that zombie. Get over here! I'll take you out! Away from those explosives! Oof. So, I'm guessing this is fuel and oxygen, because we got red and blue. I'm guessing that's power down there. That I'm pretty sure that's actually what it is, so... Oh, thank goodness, some health. You know, like you see, these will fill up as you activate them, I think. Or they'll glow blue and red, I can't remember. But you'll, you'll be able to tell once you activate them. Um... Be a little quiet, because I don't know what's around here. Aha! A headcrab zombie. I saw you. Haha, -ha, not tricking me this time. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I think we actually come up there, so that might make things a little bit easier. Uh, and I, again, I'll, I'll save. Because it just makes things that much easier. Nope, I was wrong. I guess that's how we get in the fuel room, so... Let's just do that right now. Oh! No, stay off of that, because... That happens. <laughs> we don't want to just plummet to our... Plummet to our deaths like the, the, we almost just did. Well, if we land in the water, we're fine. It's just... With my luck, I'd land right in the middle on the pipe. Her, her, her. And you'd be like, oh my goodness, you have such great aim. And I'd be like, I'm dead. I don't care if I have great aim. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, no, get up there. Yes, because I think we want to actually go on top of the pipe. Yes, because there are ladders. I believe these bring us to the different fuel rooms. I see you, Mr. Zombie, so I'm going to take care of you before I get up here. Actually, I'm going to switch to the shotgun, because that's even easier. Grenades, don't need you. What's back What's back here? More headcrab zombies! Haha, <laughs> you're not that scary anymore. Oh. My god. Oh my god. Quick save time. No, quick save time. Because I am definitely going to die on this. If I do not die on this, then th this, is th this is crazy luck that I'm having. Because I don't ever live through this. Because watch. Hit the button. And the fan starts going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go up now, because... Yep, told you, going to die. Told you I was going to die, because I was stupid and watched. <laughs> I should have just run right back. Well, whatever. You, you know what? You got you to gotta sit and watch one time. I mean, it's a huge fan. That's pretty cool. Go, 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 go. Ha-ha! We're good. I think this actually blows you up if you get into it, or if you fall over it, and you gotta end up breaking those boards up top or something. I can't remember. Let's wait and watch and see, because I think there might be something special up there. I I don't I don't know. We'll see. Quick save, leap of faith. Oh yeah, I was right. Cool. Coolio, man, that was that was pretty awesome. I totally thought I was gonna die there, though. Haha, -ha, head crab zombie or head crab. I'm not scared of you guys anymore because we have a giant worm that's planning to kill us 
in a rocket silo. So compared to him, you guys are like, you guys are the smallest fries around. That's funny because we're gonna fry him. Oh hey. Oh hey, more zombies. Haha! <laughs> All I have to do is walk back a little, and you can't hurt me. No, no, no. No, no. Alright, so we have oxygen now, because you can see because it's lit up, I believe. No? Oh, yes, we do have oxygen, because it's lit up. Oh, and I guess we have fuel. I know we had to start the uh, fan for the oxygen. I don't know if we had to do anything for the fuel. Whatever. <laughs> no skin off my bones. I'm actually... Whoa, I thought that was an alive head crab zombie for a second. I'm actually going to go down here real quick to just check if that other path led anywhere, because I don't believe it does, but I might be wrong. Take like five seconds, so just bear with me, guys. Da-da-da! da da No, dead end. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da! That's what I feel like right now, going through this lab, accomplishing these things while getting ready to kill a giant... Oh, giant, a giant serpent, basically. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just... Feel like a man on a mission. Feel like a hero. And... Come on, I mean, what, what song is more heroic than the Indiana Jones theme song? Oh, thank goodness we left that health. And now... We can burn our tracks! Salt the land behind us! Ha ha ha! Now nobody can shut off that fuel and oxygen. Um, yep, there we go. Alright, uh, this video ran a little over, I think. Um, I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life when we will... Oh, hopefully finish this guy off. Uh, we will hopefully be able to... Can we just jump down? I think we can just jump down. When we will start the power... Yeah, we can just jump down. Why would I be so crazy as to go around and risk my life and limb when I'm going to be doing that anyway in a few minutes? Anyway, we'll turn on the power and take care of this guy next episode. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life with me, Alex Phil. Take it easy.